uh, James Harden in their series where it didn't even look like he attempted to play in the, in the last game, game seven in Houston. Um, it does kind of put you in the mind frame of point shaving. <laughs> But, mm, nah. LeBron just didn't really even, I don't, I'm not going to say he didn't try. It's a little bit different than what happened with Harden in his game seven where he didn't do a damn thing. It's a little bit different. Harden had 11 points in that game too, as a matter of fact. Uh, funny. Uh, same as, as LeBron did last night. It's, it's, the thing that was most alarming, I said this earlier, is that he just really didn't try to be aggressive. Like, the ball was literally a hot potato from Clay Cross Colors Davis. Kobe got killing him. That's the big difference. That's kind of like one of the main variables that separates Jordan and Kobe with LeBron. Jordan and Kobe, they literally had that killer in them. LeBron, he's a great player. He got a little bit of kill in him, but not as much killer as Kobe and LeBron. <laughs> And Jordan, I'm sorry. Yeah, his killer gene is not that of the Mamba and MJ. It's not. That's one thing that I'll say kind of separates them. Uh, I, I just don't see Kobe or LeBron not being super uber aggressive and trying to get to the line. And just trying to make a play, trying to be more of a facilitator. LeBron didn't want that basketball last night, man. Go back and look at it. From Big L X Squad. Damn, the hate is strong in the chat room. I don't think people are hating, man. I think people are just giving you an honest opinion. What what can you say positive about what LeBron did last night? This ain't nothing but healthy conversation. They used to call it constructive criticism back in the day. no hate I don't think not in this particular case I mean he had a piss poor performance last night what are you supposed to say from the 47th problem all seriousness that jacket was smooth where did you get it Uh, come on man (laughs) yeah thank you thank you 47th thank you 47th problem man I appreciate that if I told you where I got the jacket from I'd have to kill you I got people, man. LD from the D. Robert Ory has five or so rings, too, so is he better than LeBron? Don't be silly, sir. (laughs) My reference to Kobe Bryant having five rings was kind of like a tiebreaker type thing. Okay? Of course, having five rings. I saw somebody said Derek Fisher got five rings. Robert Ory got five rings. We never talk about Robert uh, Ori and Derek Fisher in this conversation with greatest players of all times. What I'm saying to you, one of the variables, one of the one of the tiebreakers in talking about the greatness of those three players is one has six, the other has five, the other has three, and lost several. Okay, um, that's all. I mean, don't don't listen, man. Don't shoot the messenger, man. LeBron the one played shitty last night, not me. Not me. Not me. Do not kill the messenger. Rail Scott got some type of profile pic of a red-ass jacket. Come on, Rail Scott. That's not me. My jacket don't look nothing like that. So what Rail is probably trying to do is to show you what a real red jacket looks like so that you can compare that red jacket with my hot pink jacket. And you can definitely see the difference. Put them side to side. Put them side to side. Put this picture of this red jacket and Rail Scott's profile pic next to my hot pink jacket, and they're clearly different colors. <laughs> P. Cola Q3, laughing my ass off. Fuchsia stew. Right, hot pink or fuchsia? <laughs> Shut up! Miss Mocabella, stop it, Doug. That jacket is not hot pink. 
You should know. You live down there in Miami where y'all wear hot pink and caramel color lime green or whatever. That's hot pink. Um, from Jake from State Farm. Hey, the Jake from State Farm is listening to the show. That's kind of cool. He says, somebody need to find that Don King clip. Yeah, testicles are acceptable. Uh, they deleted all that shit at our last show. Our last gig. From LD from the D. Doug, you said Kobe never had a nine-point playoff game, something like that. In 97-98, Kobe had three four-point games. Uh, two nine-point games or nine-point games, a six-point game, and a zero-point game, sir. 97-98? 97, 98, Kobe Bryant was probably, let me take a look at it. You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Kobe, Bean, Bryant. Let me take a guess. I'm not going to even guess. Let me take a look, I guess. You said 97, 98. Kobe Bryant, here we go. Skip it, skip it, skip it. Kobe Bryant, skip it. So 97, 98 was Kobe Bryant's second year in basketball. Kobe Bryant hadn't touched, he hadn't scraped the surface of his greatness in 97, 98. LeBron James is, I think, what, in his 13th or 14th year? And a lot of y'all are saying he's the best basketball player ever. So you're going to compare a guy in his 13th, 14th year to a guy in his second year? Remember, Kobe was a gunslinger from the very beginning. I remember his first year, he came out shooting all of those air balls in crucial situations. Kobe Bryant grew into a dynamic, phenomenal player. Now that's hate. Okay? You had to go back to 97 and 98? Really, Ninja? Really? Second year in the league? Compared to LeBron? 13, 14 years in the NBA? One of the greatest players ever? You're much better than that, sir. From kicking it with Kesey, X Squad. What up, Kesey? Good morning, brother. He says, Mo Cheeks, she ain't my artist. She is a host on Spreaker. She has a podcast, Miss Tori Lee. That's right. The uh, During the break, we played a track from Miss Tori Lee. I didn't know she had an actual show on Spreaker. Okay, I'm going to look it up. Uh, speaking of which, we got some shows coming on today on Stewart Media and Entertainment uh, following me right at 1 p.m., uh, we've got the number one chief rock of burn from Jersey today. We've got the number one chief rock of burn from Jersey today coming on at 1 p.m. And at 3 p.m., I believe, we've got uh, the Jeff Fox show right here on WSME. So make sure you stay tuned to all the great programming today on Stewart Media and Entertainment. Uh, more of your messages in the chat on Spreaker.com. Uh, from No Love, uh, Baylor from Ninjaville. Hey, No Love, Baylor from Ninjaville. Let me take a look at your... Is that you, No Love? Ugh, I like it, No Love. Is that you? Hey, I'm looking at her profile pic, a young lady. She says, no, my brother, I live in the South. I ain't getting that. Get them from them. I don't know what she means. From Clay Cross Colors Davis. LaMarcus is not built for the big stage. Um, the war is bringing the boom to out or the brooms out tonight. Clay Cross Colors Davis as well. From Gary G. Money Joyner going hard in a fire red jacket. It's hot pink, sir. <laughs> Grego, he says, Ball Award to Charlemagne again for going off on Jason Whitlock. Oh, yeah. (laughs) If you didn't hear it, if you didn't hear it or see it, because it's actually posted on YouTube, please, please check out the – he went like 10 minutes. Um, with Charlemagne the God uh, from the big city of Monk's Corner. Yes, sir. The great Charlemagne the God went ham on this old Jason Whitlock uh, controversy thing that we talked about from last week. You need to see it. 
Great job by that youngin. Rel Scott, when you go hard, pause. It takes two to three days to recover. Getting old. No, I didn't mean it like that. Clay Cross Collins Davis, he says, ball award to the students of Notre Dame for walking out on Vice President Pitts. Yeah. Democracy as finest. Yes, I, uh, I, uh, I also, I ditto that ball award to the uh, graduating uh, students at Notre Dame walking out on Mike Pence punk ass. From Ralph Scott, they told Doug, no, 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 you ain't coming up in this church with a fire red jacket on, but leave your ties at the door. Once again, sir, the jacket is not fire red. How dare you? From Gary G. Money Joyner, you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Not interested in watching Cavs, Beast, Kill, and Rape, Pillage in the Game of Thrones is overrated not to be words of LeBar Ball next. Not interested in watching Cave, Beast, Kill, and Rape, Pillage in Game of Thrones. Oh, you're saying that you're not going to watch Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones phenomenal too now. Like, Game of Thrones may be in my top five. I'm pretty sure it is. Um... You listen to the Doug Stewart Show. Obviously, The Wire, number one. Breaking Bad, number two. Probably, you know, I like the gangster-type movies and, and TV shows. So, probably Sopranos at three. And then after Sopranos, I think I got Game of Thrones. And then at five, off the top of my head, maybe Oz the first couple of years. Oz got real silly at the end. Um, maybe in the fifth spot, I'd have to think about it. Uh, Oz or Dexter. A lot of people sleep on Dexter, man. It was on Showtime, I believe. And so it didn't get a lot of the press that some of the shows on HBO get because obviously HBO got a bigger budget, I assume. But if you're trying to find a good series to watch and you've watched all the other ones, uh, Dexter is phenomenal. Uh, Go and watch it. Dexter, in a nutshell, is about a a, uh, forensics expert uh who's actually a serial killer as well i know trust me it works it works <laughs> i know you probably saying huh yeah yeah dude works in a police station as a you know guy that investigates crime scenes okay forensic specialist and he's a serial killer at the same time it works trust me on this <laughs> go and watch Dexter alright when we get back from the break man a uh, little entertainment birthday talk as well on this man talk Monday still still giving out ballers and busters having fun doing what we do reading your chat messages we'll talk about the billboard awards from last night as well I kind of give you the cliff notes of what went down because I'm sure most of y'all were watching Celtics and Cavs, but we'll talk about it when we get back. Don't go away. Back in three minutes. This is the Doug Stewart Show. I be dreaming, I be scheming, I be thinking about the day that I can finally break my way to fuck out. This jail cell I call hell, they call reality. I be wondering why the fuck they be mad at me. 
But I can't give a fuck though, I should cause this faculty Is what's keeping me alive though, it's sad to see Why the fuck I'm in positions I don't wanna be Maybe because I'm living life too comfortably I'm just trying to do my best, how can you front on me? When I'm just trying to do my best, how can you front, Hey, Nah, 